In this tutorial, we will design concrete mixpair ACI code. If you like my YouTube tutorials, like this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel for upcoming tutorials. Please, if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section. And let's get started. Concrete is a fundamental material in construction. It is used in everything from skyscrapers to pavements due to its strength and versatility. Rule of the design mix. The design mix determines the proportions of cement water, aggregates, and additives in concrete to achieve desired properties such as strength, durability, and workability. Methodology. The designer needs to set the needed requirements and mix design specifications, such as FC prime and to be fixed in the engineering drawings. Concrete properties. Concrete properties must be selected for provided necessary workability, density, strength fc prime and durability for particular application concrete mix design steps first of all we have the choice of a slump for the needed value or range the minimum and maximum a second is the uh, choice of maximum size of aggregate three estimation of mixing water and air content four selection of water cement ratio five calculation of cement content six estimation of coarse aggregate content seven estimation of fine aggregate content 8. Adjustment for aggregate moisture if there are needed. 9. The trial batch adjustment. And this is our code, which is SEI code uh, 211.1-22. Selecting proportions for normal density and high density concrete guide. These are uh, some backgrounds uh, data that you need before uh, the design steps. First of all, you need to know about the unit weight of course aggregate, the bulk densities, and specific gravities and absor absorptions for aggregate. Mixing water requirements for concrete developed from experience with available aggregates. Relationships between strength and water cement ratio or cement or ratio water to cement plus the other cement tenuous materials for available combination for cements or other cement tenuous materials if considered and aggregates. Specific gravities for Portland cement and other cement tenuous materials if used. Optimum combination of course aggregate to meet the maximum density grading for mass concrete. The recommended uh, slump for various types of construction, which we need this table for the first step, determine the slump. For example, if it is a beam and reinforced walls, we need a range between 25 to 100 millimeters slump, minimum and maximum, respectively. Selection of water cement ratio. Selection of water cement ratio in this table is divided into two sections. Section for the non-air entrained concrete, which is the normal concrete. And in some concrete, we, we make the concrete to have an air void there. So it's uh, air entrained concrete. In normal cases, it is non-air entrained concrete. And there are the slump there. And here, the ratios or the uh, water content according to the slump ranges, for example, from 80 to 100 millimeter slump, we need a value according to the maximum size of aggregate of 20, for example, we need this value, 200 kil kilogram per cubic meter water content. The relationship between water cement ratio and compressive strength of concrete is already considered. For a 30 megapascal in 28 days, um, compressive strength, non-air entrained concrete, we need a water to cement ratio is equal to 0.54. Maximum permissible water content to a cement, water to cement ratio or water cement tenuous material ratio for concrete in serve or in severe exposure, okay? Uh, we have the type of structure. If it is a thin section, railing, curves, sills, ditches, uh, and sections within less than 25 millimeter cover over the steel. Uh, we have two cases. If the structure wet continuously and exposed to frequent freezing and thawing cycle. And the second case, which the structure exposed to sea and uh, water, to sea water or sulfates. So we have these two values, 0.45 and 2.4. For other structures, 0.5, 0.45. The estimation of course aggregate content. It is a uh, volume of even dry. We have these values. 
So we have the maximum size for aggregate, uh, 19, and for 2.6, it is 0.64. The first estimate of fresh concrete weight, we have the maximum size of aggregate, and we need to make a first estimation of the fresh concrete weight. So for maximum size of aggregate 19, we have this in kilogram per cubic meter, 23.45 for an air entrained concrete. The design example, we have an example here. So uh, design a concrete mix or pouring beams for a reinforced concrete building. If the specified compressive strength is equal to 25 megapascal, at least 28 days old, the maximum size of aggregate available on site is equal to 20 millimeters and meets the three code requirements described. Um, the sand finest moduli is 2.6 and density. The quality of the two types of aggregate, coarse and fine, is 2.65. Okay. The density of the coarse aggregate is 1,600 kilogram per meter. Experiments on aggregate showed that the uh, absorption and moisture content are so low that they can be neglected. To start the solution, first of all, we agreed that the slump is limited to 25 meter millimeters to 100 millimeters here because the type of structure is beams. Um, the required FC prime can be determined as follows. The, the specified, which is 28 uh, megapascal, we need to add it to, we, we need to make an addition there. Uh, with a value, this value is equal to 8.5 according to ACI because it is less than or equal to 25 megapascal. So the required C prime will be 33.5 megapascal. We will adopt the amount of 50 millimeter slump provided that's adjusted and thus the mixture is adjusted according to the workability. Now, given we have this slump 50 millimeters and maximum size of aggregate is equal to 19, and the water content could be evaluated from the previous tables to be 18185 we have a 19 or 20 millimeter maximum size of aggregate and a slump of 50 millimeters it it uh, lies in this range and for non air entrained concrete we have 185 kilogram per cubic meter water content and therefore the air content will be 2% now, making a linear interpolation for the water, water to cement ratio, because we will see there, it depends on the FC prime, so it, it will be evaluated to 0.5 water to cement ratio. And coming back to the table, just like here, we have an FC prime 33.5, and it lies between 30 and 35 megapascal. And therefore, for non-air non -air entrained concrete, it lies between 0.54 to 0.47 and if you make a linear interpolation in 35 it's evaluated to 0.47 in 30 it is evaluated to 0.54 and at 33.5 it's evaluated to x you can find x and solve it for linear interpolation and it evaluated to 0.5 so water to cement ratio is equal 0.5 and we have just computed the water content Therefore, the cement content is equal to the water content in kilogram over this ratio, over the water to cement ratio. So it evaluates to 370 kilogram per cubic meter cement content. The, the volume of course aggregate is equal to a ratio multiplied by the gamma or the unit weight of coarse aggregate. Given in the example the gamma or unit weight of coarse aggregate is equal to 1,600 1, um, 1,600 1, kilogram per cubic meter and we need just to need to find the ratio of course aggregate which will be computed to 0.64 coming back to this table the estimation of course aggregate content and at nominal maximum size of 19 with the finest modulus of sand is equal to 0.64 so uh, 2.6 so the value is equal to 0.64 this ratio for the course aggregate needed to be multiplied by the unit weight of course aggregate so we have the course aggregate content is equal to 1024 kilogram per cubic meter 
the fresh concrete now is need to be computed or to be estimated so if we estimate a concrete unit weight of 2355 kilogram per cubic meter the weight of fine aggregate is equal to the weight of total the total weight of fresh concrete which is 2355 minus the water content which is 185 minus the um <clears throat> the cement minus the cement content which is 370 minus the coarse aggregate therefore the fine aggregate is equal to 776 kilogram per cubic meter now this is by the weight if you need another method it's more accurate which is a volumetric method we can use this formula to compute the water the uh, fine aggregate content it's equal to the specific graphite of fine aggregate by 1000 minus water um, water uh, content in kilogram plus the cement content over it is specific graffiti the cement over specific graffiti of cement plus coarse aggregate over the specific graffiti of coarse aggregate plus 10 by the percentage of air so it's 2.65 for fine aggregate and also given in the example for the coarse aggregate so we have 2.65 2.65 for the specific gravities of coarse aggregate and fine aggregate Water is 185, cement is 370 kilograms, over its specific gravity is equal to 3.15. So we can evaluate also for the air is in the formula 10 by the percentage. The percentage here is 2%, so 2 by 10. So this formula is given, and if you substitute these um, values, you can evaluate to 772 kilogram per cubic meter fine aggregate content and this method give a value is very closer and near to this value <clears throat> but it's more accurate the concrete unit weight is then equal to the water the cement and the coarse aggregate plus finally the fine aggregate and it's equal to 2351 kilogram per cubic meter summary of the design there by the volumetric method which is more accurate the cement content is equal to 370 kilogram water content is equal to 185 kilogram coarse aggregate content is equal to what 1024 kilogram sand content is equal to 772 kilogram and then the total fresh concrete for one cubic meter is evaluated to 2351 now we need a preparation of a trial mix we need a three specimens so that we can make later the average would be 15 centimeter diameter by three a 30 centimeter height which is a cylinder a standard cylinder dimensions in the aci code and to do this slump test also for these specimens we need in summary we need 0 0.0 about 0 0.055 cubic meter fresh concrete so we need to evaluate the proportions for water, cement, sand, and coarse aggregate. Sand, which is the fine aggregate in this case. The water is equal to 185 by this volume. So we have 10 there, kilogram for water, 20 for cement, and 42 for sand. Finally, coarse aggregate, 56.3 kilogram. 